Hello everybody, this is Boaz Feiler. I'm going to try and keep it as short as sweet as I can. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 6th and 13th of July 2019. There's so much happening in the sky over this week that really there's many important transits. And let's begin with this Mercury retrograde from the 4th degree of Leo till the 24th, 23rd degree of Cancer and then back again. Um, the next three and a half weeks can we can experience failures in communication. We need to explain ourselves better. We need to be more tolerant towards misunderstandings and expect them already. Don't put your ego, Leo, in there. Don't get too emotional Cancer, okay? This is about understanding that navigation and logic do not work the same way over the next period. And really that it's going to take us up to mid-August to come to this point again and go forward. And this is a time of recalibration. This is a time of assimilation of accumulated information. And our ego or our emotions don't have anything to do with it this time around, you know. And I'm all for healthy egos and working with emotions. But this is about the left brain. Um, and this is one thing that's going to happen on Monday the 8th. Generally speaking, if I look over this week, I want to tell you that we're having a nice weekend this time, you know, like the 6th and the 7th, then the 8th, the 9th and the 10th are the more tense days of the week. And as we draw to the next weekend, to the 11th and the 12th and the 13th, the sky fills up with fireworks of luck and creativity and just connectivity and unity and to everything that is natural beyond and before words and thoughts something more pure and 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 simple and that's a great time for muses and art and inspiration this whole week is as we're heading into a grand fire trine it's really a kite um between the moon and the sun and neptune and that's really an amazing time for inspiration. It's an amazing time for harnessing our imagination to making this a nicer, calmer, and softer world. In a way, a more feminine one. In a way, a more ideal one. Listen to the women. And then we're having a grand fire trying the next day, you know, next Saturday. The moon is, is conjunct Jupiter, trining Chiron, and trining Mercury Mars, uh, who are getting conjunct again this week after Mercury turns retrograde, conjunct to the exact degree. Okay, they, they are conjunct for a long time already, but this is the heightening again of that conjunction. Another peak. So Saturday the 6th, beautiful day, and Sunday is as well. Just don't overindulge on Sunday as the moon is squaring uh, Jupiter. We have to be more tactful and more discreet and adopt some humility in days like that. Monday the 8th is a sensitive day. Mercury turns retrograde. Chiron turns retrograde as well, and I'm not going to talk about that this time. As I usually do, you could see a video called Mark, uh, Chiron Retro Retrograde, and I talk about Chiron Retrograding there as well. Um, and we're having this Moon Opposition Chiron on that day. So a very tender day that we have to be careful not to act out from our hurt place. Um, and really pay attention to our communication. It's an energetic day that could actually lead us to good places, but especially with our relationships, especially with our loved ones, watch out. And Tuesday the 9th is very sensitive as well. We're having the exact conjunction between Mercury and Mars. We're having the exact opposition between the Sun and Saturn. And the Sun-Saturn opposition always brings up 
things with family, fathers and children, personal responsibility, and feedback that might feel like I'm being judged too harshly or even judging myself or others too harshly. Watch out for those themes on that day, especially as the moon is going to square these two bodies uh, from the sign of Libra. Again, relationships. So we really have to be careful through these days in relationships. Generally speaking, the day before on Monday the 8th, Venus sextiles Uranus. This is a time to be more exact, to upgrade and to go forward and experiment with new patterns in our relationships and in the way we draw in satisfaction as well as monetary value. Um, and Wednesday the 10th is really a day that we need to watch out from not being too aggressive with what we say and intolerant as the moon opposes Uranus and squares Mercury and Mars. But Thursday the 11th changes all that. It's like the sky is radiant with blue and the wind is just perfect like it is right now. I mean it's like looking at a sapphire. There's a grand kite in the sky between that opposition of Saturn and uh, the Sun but the Sun is exactly trining uh, Neptune and the Moon. So they create a grand water trine in the sky and a grand water trine is always an amazing time to reconnect to unify with nature with God with music with arts with inspiration with the more feminine and in anything and in any one of us this is a time to celebrate that pure place that was there long before thought, thoughts and words and concepts and 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 divi and you know and that, that's the moment we were born as butt naked babies on a round world as my father always used to tell me before the guy came and told us this is your social security number this is your nationality these are your rights and obligation these are your friends these are your enemies you know something that was there much before and connecting to that essence that is eternal, that doesn't have anything to do with space and time, could be an amazing, uplifting, liberating experience over this weekend. And the fact that it opposes, the sun opposes Saturn and creates this grand kite, roots it to Earth, roots it to your bones, to your system, it makes it important heals the bones, so to speak, of your earth. And it makes you mature and have the strength to take the responsibility needed in your life right now. And then a day later, Friday the 12th, is a very good day to go outside as the moon walks into Sagittarius to explore, to take this as an adventure. She sextiles uh, 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 Pluto on that day as well so the strength draws from within and on Saturday the 13th we're having a grand fire trine in the sky this is the moon conjuncts Jupiter and trines Mercury Mars and Chiron we have to watch out from acting out from too much emotion from saying things we don't really mean to say and then being sorry for them over the next few days. This is a time to utilize this energy for creativity and healing and walking forward in your life. This is not about forgetting, it is about forgiving and walking forward as I said. So, have a beautiful week and a very positive one and thank you for sharing these videos and thank you for commenting on them and if you want to join the beginner or intermediate group and evolutionary astrology over the net with me every week small groups fun 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 and you learn amazing astrology you can open up charts and interpret them yourself when I'm finished with you so if you want to study with me this is the time to contact me or Tamar my assistant have a beautiful week live long and prosper bye bye